Uh, Your Excellency, after a series of negotiations between uh, the Malawi government and the Bridging Foundation under your supervision and instruction, I am pleased that today we are signing the FGA and the PPA agreements to finance various infrastructure projects in health, education, works, and energy sectors. Twenty-eighth November in the year of our Lord 2022 shall remain a memorable day in the history of Malawi as far as financial signing agreements between the government of Malawi and its development partners is concerned. The government of Malawi has for the first time put its signature to the paper of a grant amounting to 6.8 billion US dollars which as of the day was loosely translated into 7 trillion Malawi kwacha. Some financial experts say this amount is enough to cut the Malawi national budget for three years. The grant has been made available to the Malawi government by Bridging Foundation to invest in various infrastructure projects in the next three to four years. The projects which have been earmarked include those in sectors of education, energy and health. Malawi Finance Minister Sosten Gwengwe is describing the grant agreement as a game changer for when fully implemented it will change the landscape and outlook of this country in the targeted implemented areas. The first one, Excellency, is that the construction, the equipping, and full operationalization of the high tech Kamuzu University Teaching Hospital in Blantyre with satellites in Mzuzu, Lilongwe, and Mangochi to serve as a national and regional center of excellence on medical teaching and innovation for a total estimated cost of one billion US dollars. The, the second project, Excellency, is the construction and equipping of Inkos Yamako Simbera University with a high-tech livestock industrial center in Malawi for a total estimated cost of 480 million US dollars. The third project, Your Excellency, is the construction and equipping of a high-tech bioscience and fertilizer manufacturing industrial park at Luana for a total estimated cost of 750 million US dollars. And the fourth, pro uh, the fourth project, Your Excellency, is the construction and equipping of Mzuzu University teaching, learning, and research facilities for geomining and the establishment of the business park estimated at 591,700,000 um, 591, US dollars. And the fifth project, Your Excellency, is the construction and equipment of Malawi University of Science and Technology High-Tech high technology, high -tech technology and Engineering Hub estimated at 185 million US dollars. And the sixth project, Your Excellency, is the construction of Capitol Hill Twin Towers, uh, Twin Tower project, providing 228,000 square meters of office space for ministers, depart ministries, departments, and agencies in Lilongwe for a total estimated cost of 230 million US dollars. And lastly, Your Excellency, uh, is the development of power generation facilities with a total installed capacity of 
um, 1,000 megawatts, which is one gigawatts, and related infrastructure. And this is the major project because it is estimated at 3 billion 315 million 740 thousand US dollars. Gwengwe adds that the investment is aimed at unlocking bottlenecks in the country's investments, more especially to those projects that have stagnated for a long time. Your Excellency, the selection of these projects is, is uh, consistent with Malawi's 2063 blueprint of uh, attaining the status of an inclusively wealth and self-reliant industrialized upper mid middle income country by the year 2063. They will also assist Malawi to achieve the United Nations 2030 Agenda for Sustainable uh, Development, the AU Agenda 2063, as well as the SADC Vision 2050. Most importantly, Excellency, the implementation roadmap or timelines have already been formulated and agreed upon by the two sides. And after your charge, Excellency, we, your team, are ready to move as quickly as possible from tomorrow. In his remarks, Professor Tanko Mohammed, who is the president of Bridging Foundation, says his organization intends to bridge the gap in finance between Africa and the West. He adds that this can only be achieved if universities in Africa are implementing projects that are very innovative to provide answers to their financial challenges. The West, when I say West, I mean the United States of America, Israel, European Union, member states, they're all willing to contribute to the development of the country. All I know from inside those institutions is that money is not the issue in the West. Money is a big issue here in Africa. We Bridging Foundation, we are trying to resolve this gap. How comes that you need such a funds that is available in the West and here you don't have it? Therefore, we are aiming to bring technology, we're aiming to bring funds, we're aiming to bring experts and transfer all this knowledge to uni university, which is why I wanted to thank Professor Adipala and I wanted to thank also Dr. Mary Shawa because of the university reform that make this also possible. Once we bring those funds, once we bring those technologies, once we bring uh, those experts, our intention is to transfer the full knowledge to locals. He also emphasizes that their mission as a foundation is to contribute to the economic, social, and industrial development of emerging countries. Professor Tanko said the foundation is not only in Malawi to support the country alone, but the financing is also there to boost the Western economy. I will not talk like my colleague uh, at the European Union in USA. Um, I will tell you exactly what's going on. I've been working in European Space Agency that sent rockets today. I've been working at the NATO. I've been working at the European Commission for almost 12 years. The only one thing I can say is that we are here not only to support Malawi, but also to support the West. It's also the opportunity for the Western, for the USA, for Israel, for Europe to implement projects here. So when my colleagues sometimes came to Africa using the terms helping, um, I think is a kind of win-win. The reality is that when we bring seven billion almost or seven trillion local kwacha, the reality is that we are boosting your economy, but also we are boosting the economy of the West. I have to tell it. The hard work. Also speaking during this memorable occasion was Executive Secretary of the Regional Universities Forum for Capacity Building in Agriculture, Dr. Patrick Okori, whose co-opted board member is a daughter of Malawian soil called Dr. Mary Shawa. He urges stakeholders to speed up the implementation of the agreements. Today, 
is a day of immense importance for the people of Malawi, a country that I firmly consider as my own country. Today is important in the course of my life journey in Reform, and indeed in the life history of Reform as a network of African universities across the African continent. This is an immense achievement for higher education sector in Africa. We will look back to this day for many years ahead with pride that the hard work was worthwhile. Your Excellency, arriving to this day has taken the team gathered here today a period over two years since the meeting of your delegation with the Reform Region in 2019 in Ghana during the Reform Annual General Meeting in Cape Coast, Ghana. Your Excellency, I come from a humble village in Uganda. Where, when growing up, our mothers worked together and taught us the virtue of collaborative work. Your Excellency, I say this because of your personal involvement in the development of this project that has become visible. You therefore created the room and trust for the diverse teams to work together. That confidence and the trust is what has brought us together today to this auspicious occasion. He says the signing of 7 trillion Malawi Kwacha grant with the Bridging Foundation is a victory to the whole continent of Africa. He reveals that this signing ceremony is a culmination of the years of collaborative efforts and intense negotiations. I applaud the Vice Chancellors for their immense and timely response for coordinating the activities within their universities, meeting the course of their staff to participate in the writing process and all the documents. I record my special appreciation that they gave for providing the, fund, the funding that has made us able to take these bold steps today, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, I record with great appreciation the leadership role of Dr. Mary Shawa and Professor George Kamafiri in terms of, of follow-up with the Malawi government, follow-up with the Bridging Foundation, and constant follow-up with the Reform Secretariat. They have been a great ambassador for Malawi and for the people of Africa. I also acknowledge the support that we received in this process through my colleagues at the Reform Secretariat. Taking his turn, the President of the Republic of Malawi, Dr. Lazarus Chakwera, commends the Bridging Foundation for the Cooperation Agreement, describing it as a Christmas for the country. He attributes this gesture by Bridging Foundation as a sign of trust the country is slowly getting from its international development partners. Fellow Malawians, this year, heaven has smiled on us by allowing Christmas to come early for our country. Never in the history of this nation has there been a developmental program as momentous as the one we are embarking on today with the Bridging Foundation, which has agreed to sign a cooperation agreement with the Malai government today with the aim of investing $6.85 billion into various projects over the next three to four years. What the Bridging Foundation has done is not just an act of kindness and generosity, but also an act of trust. What they have done is to trust that I really mean business when I say in speech after speech what I'm doing and what I want to do to make Malawi a better place 
for all Malawians. He says with this grant, the foundation has helped Malawi to fulfill her vision to build, among others, Ikosemako Simbera University and Twin Towers at Capitol Hill in Lilongwe. When I said that we will construct Inkosimbera University, which will build our nation's capacity in the production and management of animal resources, some laughed and said it was an empty speech. But the Bridging Foundation heard my vision that day, and today we are signing an agreement that includes funding for that project. When I said that we will increase our electricity generation capacity to 1,000 megawatts, some mocked and said it was an empty speech, but the Bridging Foundation heard that vision. And today we are signing an agreement with resources that will make that a reality. When I said that we will build 25-story Twin Towers at Capitol Hill, to house modern offices for government. Some laughed and said it was an empty speech, but the Bridging Foundation heard that vision. They have brought the resources for us to run with that vision. When I said that we will begin to build new cities, some laughed and said it was an empty speech, but the Bridging Foundation heard that vision and now have come to sign an agreement that includes funding for the construction of a medical city in Chileka, Blantyre, with satellites in Lilongwe, Mzuzu, Mangochi, as has been mentioned. When I said that we will move our agriculture away from subsistence and transition to agro-industrialization, some laughed and said it was an empty speech, but the Bridging Foundation heard that vision, and now we are signing an agreement that will make funds available for the construction of an agro-processing plant at Lilongwe University of Agriculture and Natural Resources, which will also manufacture fertilizer for our farmers. When I delivered a national address laying out my vision to diversify the economy and establish Malawi as a mining giant, some laughed and called it another empty speech, but the Bridging Foundation heard that vision, and today we are signing an agreement that includes funds for constructing a geology and mining center at Mzuzu University and a science and technology center at Malawi University of Science and Technology, MUST. The president also takes this occasion to remind Malawians that his dream of making Malawi a better place by availing financial resources to fund flagship projects is being realized. There is no region of Malawi that will not benefit from this grant. There is no region of Malawi that will not have projects from this grant. There is no political party whose members will not benefit from the projects to be financed by this grant. For this reason, today is a day of celebration for every Malawian. It is a day of celebration for Malawi's young people and elders. It is a day of celebration for Malawi's men and women. It is a day of celebration for everyone who is active in the economy. It is a day of celebration for all of you who have prayed, fasted, worked, pushed, and hoped that someone would come along and trust us with the resources we need to develop our own country and execute the vision and execute the vision we have laid out for our own nation, Malawi 2063, with the implementation plan for 10 years and now working toward the fulfillment of all these development goals. It is a day of celebration for all of you who have pushed to restore our standing with institutions like the World Bank and the International Monetary Fund, as well as our standing with development partners, because 
It is that work that gives investors like the Bridgen Foundation confidence that their seed, that their seed is being planted in safe soil. Bridgen Foundation sets a rigorous governance and compliance framework for the effective collaboration between project stakeholders, government, Western solution providers, auditing and management firms, local subcontractors, research centers, and universities. Bridging Foundation provides funds exclusively for public investments on a public private partnership model and contacts are initiated by diplomatic or governmental channels only.